In this session, we're going to focus on the sacrament of confirmation. It's very closely tied to the sacrament of baptism. In fact, as we remember, baptism is when we receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, when original sin is wiped clean and we enter into the family of God. Well, at confirmation, those gifts are confirmed. They're strengthened in us. I like to think of it as fortified, that we're made stronger and those gifts now become part of our being so that we can go out and defend the faith. Let's keep in mind that when the Holy Spirit comes, He never comes empty-handed. He always comes bearing gifts. And so whether we choose to use those gifts or not, that's up to us. But at confirmation, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are given and they're made strong within us. So let's talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. There are seven. The first gift of the Holy Spirit is the gift of wisdom. And wisdom is the desire to want to see through the eyes of God. We want it, we desire to be so closely connected to God that we want to see the way God sees. That's what wisdom is. It's that desire that's instilled in us. It's like being up on a mountain, looking out over and having that bird's eye view to see the way God sees. The second gift of the Holy Spirit is the gift of understanding. Now this is where the Holy Spirit instills in us the ability to comprehend what it is that we see, to comprehend the, the truths of our faith. That's what understanding is. It's a powerful gift so that we can grasp the meaning of our faith. The third gift of the Holy Spirit is the gift of counsel. And this is a very powerful gift that instructs us and helps teach us along in our life. I like to think of it as the Lord counseling us, giving us the, 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 the gift to be able to know what's right and what's wrong, to choose, to make decisions in our life, to know inside what is right and what is wrong. And once we have that gift, then we can then help others. We can help counsel others the way of truth. The next gift of the Holy Spirit is the gift of fortitude. And it's closely tied to counsel because it's the courage. Fortitude is like courage to be able to act on what it is that we're being counseled on. So for example, if we choose what is right, now we need to have the courage to act on it. That's very, very important when it comes to our faith. Because remember, now that we're confirmed in the faith, we're made children of God. We're soldiers for Christ and we have to defend the faith. And this is the way that we go about it is through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. He arms us with what is necessary in our life. The next gift is the gift of knowledge. And knowledge is closely tied to understanding, to know what is true, to know what is right. It's a gift that helps us to know what's just and what's right, to be clear, about what it is our faith teaches. The next gift is the gift of piety. And this is a beautiful gift that the Holy Spirit gives us. And it's the desire to want to be pious, to want to, you know, honor God. The desire to be reverent toward God. You know, that doesn't come natural. It takes practice. And somebody asked me, well, how do we open that up? How do we unlock? this idea of being pious. Well, it takes practice. You know, if you never walk into a church, you're not going to want to be there to, to pray. If you never pray and talk to God, you're not going to want to grow deeper in relationship. So prayer, it's important to practice and to be connected to God and be reverent. And the more we do that, this gift helps us want to desire it even more. And the last gift of the Holy Spirit is the gift of fear of God. And you know, this has nothing to do with punishment, but rather it's the idea of always wanting to be in union with God. And it's the fear of being separated from God. So the gift of this, the Holy Spirit gives us is always wanting to be united and connected to God. And when we're not, it makes us fearful. It makes us tremble. It's just thinking about being separated from our God. And so these are the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit that's given to us at baptism, that's fortified in us at confirmation. 
and it really is made strong during this sacrament of confirmation. So in conclusion, I just want to invite you to, to reflect deeper. You know, how are these gifts working in you? You know, they don't all come out at the same time. They don't all mature at the same time. But you know, at some point in our life, you're going to need to, to, to use the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so think about, you know, where in your life the gifts of the Holy Spirit are coming out. And so just in conclusion, let's go through one more time, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit in review, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of counsel, the gift of fortitude, the gift of knowledge, the gift of piety, and finally, the gift of the fear of the Lord. 